about ICDP. So, so today is the International Tribune Podcast. What do you know about ICDP? Uh, I know it be well. It's a day where children uh, take up the part in broadcasting from morning to sundown, and uh, it's probably one of the most important days in this modern world of ours. And uh, for children who are living in the 3D world, it's mostly important to get to know about uh, broadcasting and uh, all media. Yeah. Okay, well, we've, we've talked about 3D and the world is keeping on changing, yeah. but uh, why, why do, you, is it, do you think it's important or it's the day, one day that we've been given us every first time in March is enough? Okay, uh, for the day, it's quite big and uh, we have to prepare for it in advance. Okay. So, one day might be enough, but better still, as we are growing up, we need to know you know what we are going to do in the future is important. Okay, look at the population of children in Zambia and just being given one day, when you have a few media houses, you think it's enough? Well, it's not quite enough. As I can see, we've got one uh, in Kitwe, we've got one in Osaka, and uh, as, uh, okay, I would want to appeal not only to the government, but also to the community, UN, all organizations out there to try and make, uh, let me say, more broadcasting okay. operations, yes. Okay, so talking about rights, do you think we, as the children, are fully enjoying? Because I can see that a lot of children have no idea about this thing called ICDB. This is the first time for some of the children, and they don't have an idea. What's your appeal to the United Nations and the community about uh, To the United Nations, I would want to say, uh, we need to come up with uh, a strategy of maybe, say, Get the children out there, inform them and educate them on this day, and uh, for more children to come, uh, we have to be approached to, and uh, as a fact, the UN are supposed to do that, and the community are supposed to push us into it. Remember, you're catching us live on lusakavos.com on the net, and uh, right now, Maisie, we've talked about uh, children and broadcasting. What about rights? Do you think you're enjoying your rights the food? Well, we're enjoying our rights to the fullest, but uh, it's, a quite, it's quite a disappointment to uh, mostly the adults out there. Recently, we just heard of a boy who's uh, being crucified by a man. And uh, it's sad to say that uh, because of stealing catapults, instead of being taught, getting a whip and uh, whip the child, it's uh, quite a disappointment to see that this man went ahead and into crucifying this boy. So. We're not fully enjoying our rights and uh, what we're supposed to be taught at that. Okay, so what can be your last words on such day? Well, my last words are uh, just keep it cool and uh, not, don't let it go to the head in the end. By the way, what did you do today to enjoy your ice cream? Well, I just sat home, watched some programs like uh, I was on Nickelodeon today, I was on ZNBC last year. Uh, I watched it and it was fun. Okay, good to have you. See ya. You're welcome. Let's talk to the next person here. Looking so excited as well. Remember, we're still in Cabanana, street of Lusaka. And it's the International Children's Day Broadcasting. Hi. Hi. Cool. Looking so hard. What's your name? Uh, I'm Peter Banda. Peter Banda. Yes. What do you know about the International Children's Day Broadcasting? Uh, you usually see the uh, children uh, taking the whole day like on, air, on TV. Uh, broadcasting their views and uh, what they can uh, have to do. Yes, that's what okay, I so do. how important is the day to you? Like, at me, as a school, as a school going child, I would like I would like to share my view about that, what they can do about certain things. So, what did you hear of yours today? Ah, no, what happened? <laughs> I was like, uh, kind of caught up with the little things. Is it because you were busy or you didn't have the privilege? Yeah. Okay. Usually, I'm um, busy just like that. Uh, well, if uh, this is their time, which um, find like a free period. So looking at uh, ICDB and children's rights, what do you have to say? Is every child in uh, Zambia today enjoying the, their rights to the fullest? Uh, not really. Like, uh, certain circumstances. We find that uh, someone married neither a 
enjoy how will that person enjoy the right of education okay so what can be appealed to somebody out there like okay i've seen some uh, some parents giving heavy type of duties or jobs to their oh. children what do you have to say about that ah uh, okay that one uh it's got an internal injury to the children okay they are like Mom. head inside you cannot be seen there and then but the impact will be felt and hit some years to come. So it's quite a bad idea. Okay, the theme for this year was uh, here voices, protect us, we are the future. What does that really mean? Okay, yeah, indeed, the uh, three children are the future. So if we only have uh, old men and uh, the rest of the youth die, uh, we do not be able to do this means that we in the same position. Okay. So what last words do you have to say somebody out there? Uh, I would like to tell them that uh, we, the youth of today, we need to get at least that amount of education to survive for the youth. All right. Okay. Good to have you. Thank you, Mr. Banner. Okay, that's it. Remember, we're live here. It's Lusaka Street. Yeah. Lusaka, and this is Kabanana. Remember, you're catching us live on lusakavoice.com. So I'll see you.